Well, dude, it's that time of year again. It's that time of year. iPhone 12 drop test. It's been a hot minute. <laughs> is it four times more durable, dude? Uh, press I X, don't press think X so. To Does it press F to doubt? <laughs> What's up and welcome to episode Gizmo Slip. Today, we're gonna find out if the iPhone 11 is less or more durable than the iPhone 12. It's This one's supposed to be four times more durable than the iPhone 11. We're gonna see if that's in truth, at least for us. Can this release? I just have so many doubts. <laughs> <laughs> when they say four times, the drop terribly, I go, hmm. <laughs> anyway, we are gonna be comparing this drop test of the iPhone 12 with last year's drop test of the iPhone 11 to see just which phone holds up better. Here we go. Let's get started. Let's get on with this drop test. Right now. And drop it in on the bottom. Three, two, two one. Let's go ahead and see the damage. Front screen looks uncracked. Back looks uncracked. Minimal scratchy damage on the bottom. Dropping it on the bottom corner in three, two, one. Okay. The front is looking good despite having some of the uh, rebound impact at the front edges. Back is also looking good. Impact point was right there. It's surprisingly pretty invisible. Just minor scuffing. Not bad at all, Apple. Good job so far. Three, two, one. Let's check out drop three. Boom. Scuffing along the bottom a little bit worse than before. Oh, never mind. That's where it really hit. Cleaned up pretty good, but definitely more damage than last time. Let's move on to drop number four. Three successful and not fail drops on the bottom so far. Yeah. Yeah. Time to, to not fail once again on the top. Three, two, one. Checking it out. Boom, impact point, top right corner. Kind of flipped around and hit this corner. Definitely noticeable, especially on the black. I bet you if this was uh, like the silver one, it probably would not be as visible. Second drop on the top. We just don't stop. Time to pop. I reviewed the replay and it didn't look too bad. We kind of hit the top corner and then we bounced around the outsides. So you can see we hit all four of the corners on that drop test. The glass appears to be unshattered. I definitely feeling some rough edges where it kind of like glassy parts are kind of like right here, especially it's starting to get a little sketched out a little bit, but we're still alive. Drop number six in three, two, one. Drop number six, boom, impact. A little dirty, but that's how I like my iPhones. <laughs> <laughs> Still looking good, moving on to drop number seven. Drop number seven on the side in three, two, one. Face down! Proper face down. <laughs> Moment of truth. Okay, the face down drop. Still alive. Oh, <laughs> buddy. Apple, you may not be lying. This is a good sign. This is a very good sign. We're still alive. On to drop number eight. Let's see if we can accidentally drop it on the fan front again. Drop number eight. Straight to the side. It just fall straight down evenly, gliding to a smooth side impact. I can visualize it in three, two, one. Backdrop! Backdrop! 
was a backdrop. Let's see how strong that back glass is. Ooh, check it out. So we hit onto the camera itself, but it's just the ring, the metal ring around the camera glass that's scratched. So that's not bad. So we also may have impacted over here. Again, the glass did not shatter, even though the metal is pretty dinged up. Impressive job so far, Apple. Congratulations to you. On to drop number nine. Dedicated drop onto the back, which I'll probably drop onto the side. In three, two, one. All right, let's see. That's where it impacted. Again, the metal is messed up, but the glass is not shattered. Impressive. That was not a very clean backdrop. It kind of hit to the side and whipped around. I think we need another backdrop. Here we go. See if we can get a good, clean backdrop. Here we go in three, two, one. Let's see if it shattered. Boom! Still alive! You can see it's just the edges are staying alive. And I mean, I mean, we've got to have impacted directly on the glass a few times here. I don't see any damage on the glass really, aside from like a scratch right here. I'm sure the cameras help add protection here onto the back. Let's go ahead and drop it onto the front now. The hardest drop for any smartphone. Here we go. Moment of truth time, can it survive? Let's find out. Do, do, do. Drop on the face in three, two, one. We managed to crack the glass finally, and we cracked it really good. Ouch. Like it doesn't crack until it really, really cracks. Sh sh shabuya, nah, nah. Whoa, nah, 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 buddy. Nah. Okay, Crystal and Shield, I see you. I see you. We got some scuffing in the glass right here. We do have some screen damage. I can feel just a tiny little bump, but it's not sharp feeling. Passes my drop test 99% of the way, but let's drop it on the face again for fun. Ha <laughs> ha. Drop number 12, second. 2.5 times on the face. Three, two, one. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa! <laughs> the back, <laughs> the back <laughs> broke on the front drop? <laughs> yeah, what is that? <laughs> so, even... If you had a case on it, it might not actually save it because we just cracked the back glass with a front impact. Though it probably is only cracked now because of it. we already weakened it somehow. But that goes to show that the back glass is not the crystalline shield. So we only got half of a device that's drop test proof. Admittedly, it did take several direct impacts on the back glass here. So this is pretty impressive still, nonetheless. Let's drop it on the face again. <laughs> if it survives this time, I mean, front glass is pretty dang strong. Drop 3.5 on the face, drop 13 overall. This is impressive. Three, two, one. That is three solid drops on the freaking face. That slaps. Shana, shana, na, na. Shattered! Oh, oh no. It was so close. I thought it. You know, I thought for sure this is the phone that's going to make Gizmo slip obsolete. Ha <laughs> <laughs> We still <laughs> live. <laughs> but you know what's really interesting? We did three and a half drops on the face. So that's pretty close to four times as durable. It is true. That is actually true in the most literal sense. So we've got a cross cross hairline fracture shatter right here. And we've got shattering all the way up here. So overall, pretty dang durable iPhone, but it's still not impervious to drops, especially on concrete. And this is only from four feet high. Like if you dropped it from 
head height and you're like six feet tall, that's where it gets a lot dicier, I think. So I'm really impressed with the iPhone 12. What do you guys think of the drop test performance between the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 12? Apple was not full of shit. This is not shatterproof. You can still totally shatter the front of your iPhone, but you're gonna have to work extra hard at it this year, so that's good. Those of you that like having a caseless phone will be happy, but just know that it's not drop proof, it's just more drop resistance. So for most people, I think you're still gonna want a case with this iPhone, especially considering the back glass is quite a bit more fragile. That's it for this episode of Gizmo Slip. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smack that like button. And if you wanna see more Gizmo Slip content, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, mark it to all. Otherwise, it's completely up to the YouTube algorithm whether or not you even are notified about my next video. I will see you in the next one. Brendan, out. Huzzah!